the biggest explosions in the universe. We humans are a violent species. We really, really like blowing stuff up. And why not? It is ever so much fun. But compared to the universe, we are nothing. Mankind could live for a million years and still never come close to wielding the explosive power we've witnessed in the far-flung reaches of space. So, fellow humans, get ready for a cosmic slice of humble pie as we bow to the superior power of the biggest explosions in the universe. Number 4. Thela Let's kick things off by first exploring the most violent explosive events involving the Earth. There are many candidates for this list, including the Tsar Bomba hydrogen bomb developed by the Soviet Union, the Tunguska event which occurred over Siberia, and the Chicxulub asteroid impact thought to have made the dinosaurs extinct 65 million years ago. The latter is estimated to have generated an explosive force equivalent to 96 teratons of TNT, or 1.7 million Tsar Bombas, making the Chicxulub event the largest explosion in Earth's history that we know about. Or is it? The reason we're unsure is we think there may have been an even larger Earth-based explosion millions of years before this, and depending on what time of day you're watching, you may be able to see evidence of this in the sky right now. It's called the Moon, and according to the giant impact hypothesis, it was formed by a cataclysmic collision between Earth and the planet Thala 4.4 billion years ago. Thala was one of many Mars-sized planets we think may have existed within our solar system during its formative years. Then, 100 million years after our Sun started getting its act together, Earth and Thala got freaky and banged, quite literally. Their impact may have taken place at only 4 kilometers per second, but the two planets' size meant their collision was ultra-violent. Thala smashed a chunk off the Earth and buried part of itself deep within us. Ooh, sounds naughty. The rest of Thala combined with part of Earth to form a ring around our young planet. This ring coalesced into our current moon and a second, smaller moon, which later crashed into each other to form one satellite. This is admittedly only a theory of how things went down, but the giant impact hypothesis does have significant scientific evidence to back it up. And if this truly is how the moon was formed, it would constitute the most explosive event ever seen on planet Earth. Number 3. Gamma Ray Bursts when gamma-ray bursts are only at number three on a list of the most powerful explosions in the universe, you know there's some big business to come. GRBs are believed to be caused by gigantic stars throwing one last hissy fit and going supernova. Supernovae explosions expel material at velocities of around 30,000 km per second, which is about 10% the speed of light. Alongside this, we think some supernovae cause GRBs too, which are huge electromagnetic events that shoot out gamma rays over a period lasting between a few milliseconds and several hours. Gamma ray bursts are very rare and very far away, with each galaxy enjoying one every 100,000 years. The GRBs we've witnessed have all come from outside our Milky Way and the brightest ever detected is known by the catchy name of GRB 080319b, or Billy Ray for short. Billy Ray took place 7.5 billion light years away and was so powerful that when its light reached us on March 19, 2008, it was visible to the naked eye for 30 seconds. Its explosive force was the equivalent of 10,000 times the sun's weight in TNT all going off at once. And even this wasn't enough to make Billy Ray the most powerful GRB ever recorded. That honor goes to GRB 080916C, also known as Charles. As in Ray Charles. Get it? Ah, get a hell. Ray Charles was observed on September 16, 2009, expelling more energy than an entire supercluster of galaxies for 23 minutes. When it occurred 12.2 billion years ago, 
Ray Charles spaffed out the energy equivalent of one trillion Tsar Bombas going off every second for 110 billion years. It was 7,000 times more energy than the sun will emit in its entire lifetime. And this beast was only good enough for third in our list. So what the heck is next? Number two, supermassive black hole. The largest explosion mankind has ever witnessed was detected in 2015, and the energy it generated was a teeny bit more than a gamma ray burst. How much more? Like twice as much, 10 times as much, 100 times more? Nope. This event, which tore through a galaxy cluster 2.6 billion light years away, released the energy equivalent to hundreds of millions of gamma ray bursts. The event in question involved a black hole energy burst from a cluster known as MS0735.6 plus 7421, which I will call Miley. And just like a wrecking ball, this black hole has caused a lot of destruction, having already devoured enough of Miley's matter to make 300 million suns. This has been going on for more than 100 million years, and as more of Miley is consumed by the black hole, Ever more gravitational energy is released, leaving behind huge cavities in the cluster between 652,000 and 782,000 light years wide. Miley is growing at a rate we've never seen before with a black hole of this size, with Cambridge astrophysicist Dr. Paul Nelson quoted as saying, This black hole is feasting when it should be fasting. Incredibly, some scientists expect to witness a larger event in the coming years, thanks to advanced facilities such as the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory in the United States. If we were to detect two Miley-sized black holes colliding, or two neutron stars doing the same, we may see an event even more explosive than Miley being torn a new one. And that really is saying something. Since when MS0735.6 plus 7421 was detected two years ago, it was described as the most powerful event since the Big Bang. Number 1. The Big Bang The Big Bang released as much energy as 800 trillion billion million firecrackers all going off at once. That's a complete lie, I just made it up. The truth is that the Big Bang wasn't an explosion at all. But are we going to end our list with it anyway? <laughs> yes we are. Because you're not the boss of me, and the Big Bang was a pretty big deal, so there. The events which led to our universe's creation can be more accurately described as an expansion, with the very fabric of space enlarging in an even manner rather than bursting out from just one place. The exact numbers involved are impossible to discern, but some guy on the internet said it was the equivalent of 9.3 septendecillion megatons of TNT. And you know what, I can't prove him wrong, so let's just go with that. What we do know is that all the positive energy within the entire universe is enough to replicate the Big Bang. To achieve this, we think we would need to pack something in the region of 12 quadrillion 200 trillion tera electron volts into a super super tiny space. Each tera electron volt is the equivalent of the energy of motion of a flying mosquito, and at present, our most powerful accelerator, the Large Hadron Collider, can squeeze 7 TeV into a small enough space. Soon, this may increase to several hundred, but we'll still be some way off being able to create our own version of the Big Bang. And you know what, that's probably for the best. Especially since the last one pretty much broke time. How did it do this, you might ask? Well, we're gonna find out in our bonus video, How the Big Bang Created the Future which you can watch on our Patreon page at patreon.com slash strange mysteries. For a $2 a month pledge, which you can cancel at any time, you'll get to watch this and all of our bonus content which goes deeper and darker into every topic than YouTube allows. If you don't want to donate, then that's bullshit. We know you wanted more. Strange mysteries on YouTube and our Patreon bonus videos weren't enough to quench your search for truth, to give you that sense of awe and wonder again to go past what you thought was the end, to give you the answers you seek, but which only lead to more questions. That's why we just up the stakes. Chemicals of reality. Reality, consciousness, brains. What else is there? Ask yourself that question. Perhaps that's all there really is, but perhaps everything else is found within a place where these ideas, these things, 
overlap. Some thing, some place that is undefinable. To many people, altering certain chemicals in their brains produces what they would simply call hallucinations. In fact, what we're going to discuss specifically used to be called the businessman's trip, as one could enjoy it. Come down and put your pants back on in the time it takes to eat lunch. It wasn't taken seriously. Well, unless, of course, you started digging. And some people, including us, did. Already, though, to many people, this chemical is special amongst others. Very special. To them, it represents something more meaningful and incredible, as if it's the gateway to the next level of consciousness. The ticket to a higher reality barely explored by most humans. It is the entry point to a new reality, visited by only a select few whose minds have become enlightened through the use of this exotic substance. For this reason, it's commonly referred to as the spirit molecule. But is its reputation as a mystical mind opener deserved? Or is it and everything it represents just a load of bullshit? We look at, investigate, and dive deeply into nearly all available research regarding this question from nearly every angle feasible. And in the course of doing so, stumble upon unexplainable patterns, correlations, and neurological evidence for a reality existing beyond this one. Watch this hour-long Strange Mysteries premium video, Chemicals of Reality, as well as many more to come by becoming an elite premium member of our Patreon at patreon.com slash strange mysteries.